Love it or hate it, the Zeehan slag dump has been a feature of Tasmania's west coast for over a century. Now there are moves to remine the slag, but some people want it preserved as a historic site. Zeehan's infamous slag heap rises up on the main approach into town. It's the result of decades of smelting, but old-fashioned techniques left a wealth of unrefined zinc. Well, the process is a of the 1900s and even the 1950s are probably nowhere near as good as they are today. It's estimated the black gravel contains 13% zinc and a metallurgical company has now begun a trial to extract it. And that zinc is what we're uh, uh, extracting uh, by a mining process uh, to be exported uh, through the Port of Burnie and uh, uh, off to customers uh, overseas. The company says the complex process to extract the slag zinc can only be done in China. Well, Australia hasn't uh, got the, uh, uh, the economics in place and the infrastructure in place to support what we're doing. Intex says the dump's value depends on global metal prices, but previous work hinted at its worth. It was drilled by a company called Dragon Resources from my memory in about 1988, and back then they reckoned there were $70 million worth of base metals still in the slag. The slag heap has been around since 1889 when the Tasmanian smelting company operated on the site. Now nothing remains but some crumbling ruins and the dump, but there are calls to preserve them. Well, I think a town that's built on history is a solid town, not a town that once everything taken away, it's no more, it's just forgotten. Most just want the benefits to flow back into the once thriving town. One would hope that if they actually achieve a process that will work, that perhaps that process can then be brought to the west coast and uh, all the tailings, dams and slag poles that are around could be treated here. The trial's in its early stages. Too soon to tell if the slag dump will yield more riches for the west coast. Jessica Kidd, ABC News, Zeehan.